so no. She was a little bit disappointed in that dress. Mom whispered in my ear and told me that she's had some health issues and she didn't know if she was going to be able to make it today. She wants something to cover the wings on her back. I have a tattoo on my back she doesn't like. Ideally, we'd like to cover those wings. I feel beautiful. I feel, I love this dress. Beautiful, love it, love the dress. So bright. Raping in the back and it offsets the wings. I don't like it. I don't like the dress. I'm saying yes. To the dress. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Number three, marrying into royalty. In Say Yes to the Dress Asia, we are swept in the fairy tale journey of Bride Poteri, a bride with an endless budget who sets out to find her dream dress. The royal setting of this show makes it stand out. Poteri is not just any bride. She is a real-life princess bride who is going to marry a king or a queen. As Poteri walks into the wedding salon, she can feel the excitement. Her eyes are filled with dreams of the perfect dress fit for a princess. Stick, elegant, a bit of lace but not too much, vintage looking. And I was thinking maybe off-white. Paying for the dress? I would be paying for the dress. Does it mean that you have the most save for today? Shall we just... Nope. No, no, no. No, I just don't... It's too, it's too busy. It looks like you're in a snowstorm. It's definitely not the conventional bridal dress. I don't think I can give my mom-in-law a straight no. <laughs> There are as many options for her as her ideas when she has an unlimited budget. There are bridal planners ready to make Poteri's dreams come true. They know how to please clients with high standards. Poteri realizes that the price tag is not an issue as she looks through the carefully chosen collection of gowns, each one more beautiful than the last. She has the right to every glitter, applique, and fine stitch. The question of how much the dress costs is no longer important, so Poteri can indulge in her dream of finding a dress that goes beyond royalty. But in the middle of all the wealth and luxury, she faces a unique challenge. She has to win over her royal mother-in-law. The bride's style is very different from her mother-in-law's style, so the focus moves from the dreamy world of fashion to the complicated world of family expectations. It's like Aphrodite. See, wow. look, that's the word. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful on the hanger, but, but not, not like now. Wow. I'm looking at it. So, no. She was a little bit disappointed in that dress. I think she looks beautiful in it. it suits her body, it suits her figure. I love how it like flares. When she twirls, it was shining. Ding, 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 ding. Let's go okay. back to the drawing board then. All shall right, we? Then. The dress is the thing of Poteri's dreams, but it has to meet the high standards of her soon-to-be matron of honor. In a world where old and new dance a careful waltz, the clash of tastes is at the heart of the story. The story of Poteri's search for a dress that shows off her own style while also living up to the standards of her royal family is very moving. The gown is more than just a piece of clothing. It's a sign of combining identities and bridging together personal wants and family traditions. While the wedding planners carefully choose dresses that are a mix of modern beauty and traditional regality, Poteri deals with the emotional terrain of getting her family's approval. The gowns shown are more than just beautiful pieces of fabric. They carry the weight of generations' worth of demands. In the end, the journey isn't just about finding the right dress. It's also about bringing love and tradition together in a very special way. With Poteri's infinite budget, a gown is made that has more meaning than its monetary value. It becomes a physical representation of a bride's hopes and a family's history. The bride turns down the first three dresses, but then she finds the right dress for an outdoor wedding, and her friends and family agree. Dress is 17,800 ringgit. I'm not so sure about my mother-in-law. And money's not an issue. I guess I'm ready to make a decision then. Ah, oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Nice. okay. All right. Yes, I'm saying yes to this dress. All right. <laughs> Number two, sick mom. In a touching episode of Say Yes to the Dress, it's not the beautiful wedding dresses that steal the show, but a sick mother whose performance was in doubt because of her health. Bride Riley Wolf goes on an emotional trip to find her dream wedding dress. 
but it's her unexpected reunion with her sick mother that turns the day into a memorable celebration of love and strength. At the start of the show, Riley walks into the famous Kleinfeld Bridal Salon, excited and ready for what's to come. But the happiness is mixed with worry, because her mother's health problems make it uncertain whether she will be able to attend. Riley's search for the right dress is made more difficult by the fact that she is feeling very sad about the situation. While Riley looks at the many wedding dresses, she can't help but think about how unclear it is that her mother will be able to be there. Kleinfeld's bridal planners, who are known for being empathetic and understanding, find this delicate balance and make sure that Riley's journey is both happy and kind. Okay. Oh my right. gosh! You guys, <laughs> oh, it's going to be a minute. <laughs> it's like a going away party. Mom whispered in my ear and told me that she's had some health issues and she didn't know if she was going to be able to make it today. Through, before they walk into the door, I have to make sure that she really has a special day. So now that you're in it, what yeah. do you think? I like it more than I thought I was going to. It's yeah. a lot of fabric. The episode is beautifully put together around Riley's trip with her sick mother. The bride's unwavering support for her mother during hard times is emphasized, creating a story that goes beyond the search for the right dress. Even though the gowns are beautiful, they are just small parts of a family's journey through hard times and happy times. The tears running down Riley's mother's face as she finally puts on a dress that amazes her show not only how beautiful the dress is, but also how deeply emotional this event is for her. I feel beautiful. I feel, I love this dress. Beautiful. Love it. Love the dress. So bright. <laughs> yep. That'll work, I guess. <laughs> It'll do. If it's all you've got. Only dress. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes, I am, Riley's mom. <laughs> I came here knowing you were gonna look good. Be too much with like a tiara and a veil, would that be costumey or would that be Leave elegant? that up to me. Okay. The perfect dress becomes a sign of strength, love, and the unbreakable bond between a mother and a daughter. The way the episode plays out shows how weddings can change people, not just as acts of union, but also as events that go beyond dresses and decorations. Riley's trip turns into a celebration of how strong family ties are and how you can find happiness even when things are bad. People who watch the episode finally learn that real beauty isn't just in the fabric and design, but in the love that goes into every stitch. This is shown when Riley says yes to the dress that represents her whole journey. Great experience and it looks like mom's really enjoying today and I think she's, I think she deserves it. Groceries. She's been there taking me to doctors, holding my hand during painful procedures. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. So, what do you guys think? Should we ask her the question? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Number one, covering the tattoos. A bride's wedding day is an important event in her life that she will always remember. She has been picturing every part of this day for years, right down to picking out the perfect outfit. Having said that, it's not unusual for moms and children to have different ideas about wedding dresses. Even though this could be a tough and stressful time for everyone, it is very important to figure out what the problem is and how to fix it. When Samantha's mother finds out that her daughter is getting married and has a tattoo on her back, she feels bad for her. Samantha is over the moon when she finds the wedding dress of her dreams. But her mother is determined to hide the tattoo because she thinks it looks bad and will ruin the dress. She wants something to cover the wings on her back. I have a tattoo on my back she doesn't like. Ideally, we'd like to cover those wings. When you get married, those wings are going to ruin your gown. In this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> your wings are showing. I said the whole draping in the back and it offsets the wings. I don't like it. I don't like the dress. Samantha really wants to wear a dress that will make people notice her tattoo, even though her mother strongly advises her not to. While they are looking at clothes, Samantha suggests that she try on a shorter dress. But her mother is sure that she should wear a traditional long gown instead. Their tension grows when Samantha tries on a long ream acra dress that shows off her tattoo. Her mother is shocked and tells her daughter how much it bothers her. 
She also tells her daughter that getting wings tattooed is wrong and that she should never do it. After that, Samantha tries on a shorter dress. To her daughter's surprise, her mother thinks the wings look good with it. Even so, she still insists on wearing a long dress. When the argument gets heated, the wedding planner steps in and suggests adding a skirt that can be taken off to the shorter dress. Samantha doesn't like the solution because she thinks the dress should be worn just the way it is. But her mother and daughter feel bad about giving in and accepting it. A ball gown every day. It's just not me. I don't feel like me in it. Okay, okay let's turn your hand. It's just... It's not her. Uh -huh. Okay, we need less stress. Yeah, less, okay. less stress. Less stress. <laughs> That's a ghost. It's, you look like, oh my God, in it. It's beautiful, it's perfect. It's, yeah. She's not in love. And I don't really like it that much. Which one do you feel the most beautiful in that you've had on so far? As the hunt goes on, Samantha tries on a ball gown, but her mother rejects it right away because she doesn't like it. They finally chose the shorter dress after some back and forth, and Samantha even agreed to take off her skirt for part of the photo shoot. Both the mother and the daughter end up with a bad taste in their mouths because of the argument. Samantha wonders if her mother's interest in the tattoo was really just her desire to have the final say on the wedding. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's good. The dress I love and the tool I'm a bit iffy on, considering the other people's opinions. I'm just thinking that I really like the dress. Best without this. You really don't like that? It's, uh, it's fun and different. So for a couple of... Done everything for me. You'll get the tool and I'll put it on for you. Okay. I love it. I love the dress. She is ready to do anything to look and feel beautiful in her wedding dress, though, because she knows that this is her big day. If necessary, this means going against what her mother tells her to do. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.